Good morning to you. Welcome to your bite sized word for today. And not sure if you've noticed this, but the world is an interesting place to be living in. We were sitting flipping through channels on TV, and on the one channel in South Africa, we're talking about the electricity crisis, and then there's a water crisis somewhere, and a crisis everywhere. Um, I think in this season, we are learning that the plural of crisis is crises because it's, there just seems to be everywhere. And so we flipped to another channel to see if there would be some better news. And then it's another crisis in another country. And so if we as believers are going to watch all of this stuff and let this govern us and, and, and govern our future, we're falling into a trap. And it made me think of two dreams that I had. And when you have a dream about a dream that you've had, then you know God is really trying to get a message across to you. So I'll share it again for those who haven't heard the, the first dream. And in the first dream, it was, I think it was about 2015 when I had this dream. And I was standing outside looking up at the sky and with, with a whole lot of other people. And as we looked, the sky began to get very dark and there were, I noticed there were black birds that were forming a kind of tornado in the sky that was looming towards us. And the sky just got darker and darker. And then I heard, I felt the tangible fear of the people around us because they could see this darkness was just getting thicker and coming straight towards us. And then as we looked at the sky, from the horizon, a light began to appear, and it wasn't the sunrise. Um, uh, this light, this bright light began to appear, and then from the horizon, these um, golden globules began to, to rise up, and they were coming towards us. And as this light appeared, the birds disappeared, and the sky became light again. And then as these golden globules came towards us, I could see they were big round spheres and they contained a thick gold liquid. And I knew that if I popped it, you know, sometimes when a bubble, when you blow bubbles and you pop it, it just disappears. <coughs> I knew that if I popped it, it wouldn't just disappear or dissipate. It would actually release a thick golden liquid. And God said to me, that is my glorious outpouring. Now, that was the first dream. And you know when you dream of things like golden spheres and thick golden liquid, it's all symbolic of God encouraging you and saying what he wants to do. And also the darkness in the sky was exactly, is exactly what is happening today. It's been happening forever, but it's more evident today. So then maybe about a year later, I had another dream. Could have been a bit longer than that. I had another dream and in this dream, I was preaching outdoors at night, so the sky was dark, and I was preaching to a crowd of people. Now, I don't preach outdoors, and I was in another nation, and if I tell you the nation, you're going to read into it, um, and so I was preaching outdoors, and in my dream, I was telling these people about the dream I had, and I was repeating the whole dream, just the way I described it to you today, and then in that second dream, I said to them, God wants to release an impartation of his glory to, to you tonight. So come forward, line up. I'm going to lay hands on you and release an impartation of faith and glory. And so I was laying hands on, on people in the street for an impartation after speaking about God's glorious outpouring. And people were receiving and they were falling on the floor. It was an amazing revival time that I had there. And so because of the shakiness that the world is in, the crises that we're hearing about and listening to and watching unfold before our eyes. It's important for you and I as believers not to give in to this, to not, don't downgrade your faith or downgrade your vision that God has given you because of what's going on in the world. God hasn't changed his mind. The kingdom will never be shaken. The kingdom is always advancing. Can you picture Esther? Uh, this young woman who was uh, around during the time where the enemy wanted to annihilate God's people, the Jewish people, and who uh, Mordecai came to her and said, who knows, you know, you can rise up and, and you can do your thing. And, and, and if you don't, God will 
find someone else. This is my paraphrase version. And then he said to her in Esther chapter 4, but who knows whether you've been called to the kingdom for such a time as this. And I think in the kingdom as believers in the church, we've thrown that phrase around so often. Who knows whether you've been called to the kingdom for such a time as this. But I'm saying to you today, who knows? So do not downgrade your dreams, your vision, your faith. Don't let your faith lapse. Don't let it slip. Keep your eyes focused on Jesus. And I'm going to read something to you from your now season. Um, let's have a look. Um, we must be navigating this season through a kingdom lens. Now, I wrote this book in 2020. During lockdown, I, I spent some time and I wrote this book. It took me about six weeks to write and complete this book. We must be navigating this season through a kingdom lens and not using a microscope to find more things to worry about and promote fear. You've got it. It's all there. You don't have to search for something to fear about. We need to be a voice of hope. Um, and then I say here, for you and I in today's world, with cultural upheavals and protests about anything that pops its head too far above the norm or appears to be too outdated or too normal, we need to make sure that our plumb line, the way we determine what is right or wrong, is rooted in the ways of God and how the kingdom of God operates. The decision we need to make today in this season in the world and the kingdom is to trust God. We cannot navigate through any season without our trust being placed in his faithfulness to his promise to keep us. So my encouragement to you today is let God be your plumb line. The plumb line is the measurement, the standard of is this right or is this wrong? Is this God's way or not? And so let the plumb line be what has God promised you? What has God said to the church? And stick to that. Keep your eyes fixed on him. Be, be expectant to see him move. Just because the world's in a crisis doesn't mean God can't give you a miracle. Just because the health system is in crisis doesn't mean God can't heal you. Just because the economy, the interest rates are going up. Everything is increasing. Just because that's happening doesn't mean God can't provide for you and give you a breakthrough. So let God hold your hand. Trust him for the supernatural. That's what we call to do. And let this be your greatest time ever because God wants to show himself strong on your behalf. So be encouraged with that today. Maybe you're looking at your circumstances and it's like those dark birds forming a tornado in the sky in front of you. And all you feel is hopeless and fearful. Remember God and his glory are about to show up for you. So be a person of faith. Don't give in to the devil's tactics. Don't downgrade your life, your expectations. Be wise and keep your eyes focused on Jesus. Be encouraged with that today.